Hey guys, what's going on? It's Link here. Welcome back to another Nino Kuni Cross Worlds guide. Now, for this guide, I'm going to be teaching you guys everything you need to know for combat, whether it's auto attack or semi attack or just being passive or uh, changing the range in which you can and cannot attack and or can and cannot counter. Now, with that being said, it's honestly very straightforward, but it doesn't really explain it all too well. Now, there's a good chance that what I'm talking about right now, you will already know. However, there's also a good chance you may not know. So the first thing you need to do is come over to the top right, go to your settings and in your settings on the game tab. And this works for fun, too, by the way. The first thing you need, you need to change is change the auto use heal skills. Put that to whatever percentage you want your character's health to be in before your character uses a heal ability. This is important because if it's at like at 100, it's always going to use it. And then when you really need it, it may be on cooldown and that might get you killed. So put it on something comfortable. I like to put it on 60. I think it's fine, but it's really up to you. And then the second thing you need to do here is the same thing for potions. Turn that to whatever you want, meaning he or she will use their potion once their health reaches that particular percentage. And then last thing in here that you need to change is the following auto HP potion change. Put that to manual manual. Excuse me. Don't put that to auto. This makes it so that the, so that the character will change the potion that it needs at the time instead of using what you assign it to use, which you don't want that. So make sure you put that on manual. And then from that point, you should be absolutely fine. And then from that point on, uh, your character will use, for example, I got a healing ability down here. I will only use that when I am 60% or lower for my health. And I will only use a potion up here when I'm 60% or lower with my health. So that pretty much covers that. Now, the next thing that I need to cover is the following. When you press the little button down here or press the C button, you will switch between uh, semi and auto and nothing. When you're at nothing, you don't attack anything at all. When you're in auto, you attack absolutely everything that is in the way. When you're on semi though, oh, actually I should explain this. On auto, you use everything. You use your three main attacks. You use your abilities. You use your familiars. You use absolutely everything. When you're on semi, however, on semi, you don't use anything at all except your auto attack. This is all you do in semi for the, uh, for the enemies. Again, I repeat, when you're on auto, you use everything. When you're on semi, you only use auto attacks. However, it will still do the same thing in the sense that it will attack absolutely everybody that is within your range. Now, another thing you need to know is if you hold down the button down here, the uh, button that switches you between auto, semi, and nothing, if you hold it down, you will bring this little menu up. And in this menu, you'll notice that you have a circle. Your circle might be bigger, but you notice you have a circle. Now, what this does is this circle is the, 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 uh, the zone in which your character will attack whatever gets in there. So, for example, if I had auto attack on right now or semi attack, and let's say the the uh, alpaca down here or lapaca, whatever, let's say he was a monster, I wouldn't attack him until the circle, until he's in the circle is when I will attack if I was in semi or in auto. However, you can increase the circle to whatever you want. You can make it really, really massive, and you can increase it and you can attack. Uh, from wherever you want. This is only honestly useful for range characters and or for short range characters. If you like to put it on auto attack and you don't want to do anything, you just want to let it do everything for you. Just turn it up all the way and you'll attack absolutely everybody. But if you find it a little annoying where you're like, I want to attack that guy over there, but I keep running to this thing, then reduce it to something comfortable and then make sure he's obviously not in that circle. And then you'll be, you will be absolutely fine. The next thing down here is call auto battle attack counter. This is pretty much simple. Let's say for some reason the alpaca had range attacks and my circle's like this and he's attacking me from that range. I won't attack him because my circle's like that even on auto or semi. But if I turn this on, if he attacks me, my character will notice that he attacked me outside of my circle. And because I'm outside of the range, I will still attack if I turn this on. So I don't turn it on, but if you find that it's annoying when monsters are attacking you and you're not attacking them for one, you can increase your range or two, just turn it on and then he'll go and attack that monster uh, if your range doesn't cover. So put this on something that you find comfortable. A uh, perfect example is at nighttime. If you leave your game on and your character's grinding, I would say put it up all the way just because sometimes there's going to be a lot of people grinding around you too, you know? So by doing this, you kind of guarantee that there's always going to be a monster available within this big circle. Now, 
the next thing you need to know is if you hold down the auto attack button you'll bring this up again like i said however down here when you click this it shows you all your abilities now chances are it's going to show you exactly what it's showing me the circles within all these different buttons the three familiars the three skills and then the three sorry the three auto attack moves and then the uh the three specials i guess if you will now the thing with this is anything that doesn't have the arrows circling the ability you will not use an auto attack at all meaning that if i go over and auto attack these guys down here you'll notice something uh, I'm actually going to decrease my range because I don't want my character to go all crazy. But well, check this out. So right now, on auto attack, I'm using all my abilities. Absolutely everything. And I'm going ham and I'm using all my stuff, right? And and, and it's cool. It's whatever. That's fine. That's that's, that's exactly what I want. Uh, and, and we're good. However, you'll notice that while I, right now I'm not doing anything at all. But if I turn it back on, I'm doing absolutely every single move. But if I go out of my way to go over here and I click this again click on that and then turn these off uh, actually make sure you click complete when you're done doing that turn all of these off you will notice the following now i have everything on except these two abilities so i won't be using them when i have auto attack and i'll only be using the bullet ability and you'll notice that right now look see that's that's i'm using all my familiars because i still have that on i'm using my my special down here but i'm not using these two and that's because i i've turned them off for auto and they won't use them at all this is important because if you're the kind you're if you're the type of person that likes to play auto mode um i would suggest turning all of them on except turn off your your uh special abilities see like this i'm using absolutely everything again everything i want to use i'm using as long as obviously it's not on cooldown if it's not on cooldown i will use it and i'm back to using look every single ability again however like i said I would suggest turning off the bottom ones. The reason why is because if you're playing a character that has a healing ability or a shielding ability or a stun or whatever, you want to be able to use these whenever you deem them necessary. I think it's very important because even if you're an auto character and you just like your character being, you just sit back and relax. There will be times where you might have to clutch up with a special ability, but because you're on auto, it might use your ability and then you don't have it ready to go. So I would suggest turning these off and then just kind of you know you doing that yourself you know also if you press f1 on your keyboard you will you will see all the buttons in case you don't know how to use these without clicking on the uh, actual screen itself so there you go so yeah, that's what i would suggest to do turn them off and then you're good to go uh and now we will talk about semi-attack and semi-attack you do not use anything you don't use uh familiars you don't use abilities you don't use the other abilities you don't switch weapon. You don't do nothing at all besides just auto attack. Semi attack is your typical MMO. This is like your World of Warcraft or your Final Fantasy 14. In this mode, what you do is you run yourself. You use all the abilities yourself. You use all the familiars yourself. You use your specials yourself. However, it'll auto attack anything that it needs to auto attack. Also, on top of that, for both of them, if you want to attack a certain monster, you just click it. And then it'll go and attack it like any other MMO. And like this, you are still auto attacking by itself. I'm not doing anything at all, but I'm not using any abilities whatsoever. And I could use my abilities myself and roll out the way and all that jazz. This is kind of like hands on, you know, if you want to experience uh, a traditional MMO, I guess, if you will. Um, I like this method myself. I'm not a huge fan of leaving my character alone and letting it do whatever it wants. I, I, I just think it's kind of boring personally, but. I'm okay with it when I'm just grinding for stuff, obviously, because that's a different story. Uh, so, yeah, remember, you can click on whoever you want to fight. If they're all the way over there, just click on them, and you will go after them. Uh, if you click on them again, you will take off the target, and your character will not move. You don't have to run over there yourself. You just click on them, and then the, and then your character will go over there. Turn it off, and then you're good to go. Another, another thing, too. If you find that you're looking for one specific target, if you click this little icon over here next to the world on the bottom... All the monsters in this area will appear. If you turn auto off, then it won't rescan. But if you turn it on, every single time this uh, uh, thing, I guess, or the, the target list gets empty, it will refill itself if you have auto on. This is pretty nice because when you're in a lobby with like 50 people and there's like a billion monsters and you're trying to go for a specific one, it's really annoying to have to click the one you actually want. So you'd have to zoom in and find it. However, with this, you don't. You just click on it. And then it goes and kills it. You know, you don't want to kill that one no more. Cool beans. Go click on that guy. And then it'll go kill that guy instead, you know? 
So make sure you turn that on if you're having a, a hard time looking for the specific uh, monster. You can actually change this to humans too, by the way, to players and whatnot, or, or just put it on all if you want to, but you can switch it around and all that jazz. So just keep that in mind. Again, this is the second option down here, but I think that pretty much covers it all, honestly. Hopefully this helped you out again. There's a good chance you probably on the, already know what's up. Oh, another thing. If you don't want to press the button down here, remember you can press uh, C on your keyboard and it will change that. And F1 to see all your keys. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this helped you out. Chances are you probably already had these settings. You just kind of didn't understand them very well. Uh, if you did, cool beans, you know, uh, hopefully you're enjoying your time. If you didn't and you've been finding this a little bit awkward, hopefully now you understand it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I will answer them and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have yourselves a good one.